What is up my friends? So today's episode we are officially talking about the brand new home I purchased for the month long trip out west. But I'm going to be talking to you guys more importantly about all the storage parts of this trailer such as you know what I'm going to be keeping my food and stuff in as well as where I'm going to be sleeping. Also there's a couple of cool things up front I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, so hope you guys enjoy and uh, stay tuned if you want to learn more about what's going on behind me. So starting from the back we are going to be going from the back all the way to the front. I'm going to be opening up the storage part of the trailer. All the places where I keep my food, all the cooking stuff and all the stuff that I will be uh, pretty much living off of. So the person that made this trailer, I think they did a fantastic job on uh, one of the most important parts of this and that is the space that they, they uh, developed. As you guys can see there's about 12 different storage compartments that you can put things in, you know, whether it be food or any any kind of items that you would be using for your uh, trip. And they also have hangers up top, right there too. And they also have these arms that come down to support the back end, so you will not have that thing fall on top of you in the middle of the night or whatever. So the first compartment, I am going to be storing all my boxed food items, such as, you know, it could be anywhere from oatmeal to macaroni and cheese and stuff like that. And then I also have my first aid kit, you know, for emergencies. And then off to the right, we have a just miscellaneous stuff, you know, it'd be rubber bands, or I don't know, just scraps. And then the goods. You gotta have your ramen. That is a necessity when it comes to food. Cheap food and good food. That is good stuff right there. And then all three of these top storages are on the same level. So they will be all used for essentially the same purpose. So pretty much what I have in here is, you know, it could be anywhere from napkins to to uh, bags, you know, trash bags. It could be aluminum foil. It could be other baggies that you store things in. I also have my bigger uh, cooking implements there. And then I also have uh, sugar and flour right there. And then miscellaneous cups. I want to say this real quickly. You guys have probably set this thing up a little bit differently than I am, but this is what works for me. And I set it up in a way that I knew where all the, my things would be. And I set it up to how I would go about making things and like using things. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the bottom four, bottom five uh, storage compartments real quick. And moving from the middle down, we have this one right here. So up here, we have our miscellaneous, you know, plates and bowls for, you know, cereal and dinner and stuff. And we also have our cooking stuff down top and below. Um, we have, you know, Tupperware containers to store things. We also have um, cooking implements such as a pan and, you know, pots and pans and stuff. Uh, the stuff that you want for uh, camp. And going from the middle, we have, so such as, you know, plastic spoons. I'm going to be reusing all this stuff, so uh, washing it as soon as I'm done, and then drying it, and then putting it away, so it doesn't have to be the most clean. In this level, we have cooking spray, and we also have bug spray, just in case the, uh, just to help out with some stuff. All my washcloth type stuff, and also have uh, hot pads, you know, so I don't burn myself on the uh, pans and the fire. I mean, I have washcloths such as this stuff, but um, yeah, that's that. So in the back, I have all my canned items. You know, it could be anywhere from sternos for cooking, you know, hot chocolate or whatever, miscellaneous cooking, and then we also have soups, bunch of soups, stuff like this, you know, um, keep the day going. And then we also have a camp light that I can actually store up top and hang on one of the hooks on top of here so it will keep the uh, back kitchen all lit up for me on those dark nights. Put that thing away and move over to the front. So what's really nice about this camper is you don't actually have to just open it up from one side. It has two doors that are the same exact setup. Um, so it, you know, you don't have to walk the whole way around to open up a door and get in. You can, you know, set up a tent or something somewhere. You don't have to go outside in the rain, you know, go that way. But we're gonna go ahead inside and I'll show you guys my bed setup that we have going on. Cool. From outside impressions, we have a comforter and we also have two pillows, so one and two right there. And then off to the very front of it, we have two storage things. So the one is pretty much where I'm gonna you know, keep miscellaneous things, and the other one, I can actually put my laptop right on top of that guy. So 
it leans down, which is nice. It folds down. I can actually put my laptop on top of that and then watch TV or you know do whatever you want to do. But how they designed it and how they built it, they use the space they have, and they also designed it in a way that you have plenty of of room to sleep. So there's actually you can actually put two people sleeping in this thing, which is pretty cool. And the person that designed this, they thought of two different things. They said that I either want a refrigerator type thing, you know, such as a cooler, or I want something that can keep the inside of the camper cold and or hot, depending on the type of the year that they're camping. But they just went with the cooler, I guess, uh, you know, nice and simple. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do like this type of stuff and do want to see me traveling out west such as you know out to Montana fishing hunting and traveling stuff like that feel free to go ahead and comment down below comment subscribe and uh, like this video helps me more than you realize as well as if you even want to support me more than that you can actually check out in the video description down below we have a link where you can check out my clothing that I have and the funds from that help me travel and help me make informative videos for you guys to learn from and be entertained by. So <laughs> with that being said, hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, always chase the dreams, man. There's nothing better than that.